Almost 40% of children in Milwaukee live in poverty and don't have their basic food needs met. Look to the person to your left. Now, look to the person to your right. If you were students in Milwaukee, one of you may be going hungry. Franklin High School is undeniably large with approximately 1,550 students. Unfortunately, this is also the number of people currently sleeping on the streets of Milwaukee. This isn't how any person should be living. You can help be the change for a problem that's so close to your own home, but what can you do? Franklin students Lindsay Bowl, Haley Beckman, and Lydia Sakura started the Brown Bag Foundation to help those in need by supplying them with paper bags filled with food and basic health supplies. You can help by donating money or supplies such as toothbrushes, toothpaste, and other travel-sized toiletries. This week during lunch, you'll be able to make your donations. Look for Lindsay, Haley, or Lydia in the cafeteria. You could also bring your donations to the office. Simply put your items in the big brown bag that will be set out for donations. Every little bit can help someone's life. What's up Sabres and good morning FHS. I'm Sabre Brad and you're watching the Sabre Roar filmed here in Franklin, Wisconsin, home of the Sabre Nation. And I'm Sabre Drew. We work hard making this show every week, so today's episode is all about us. Earlier this year, the Sabre Roar class got an amazing experience when a special guest came to shed some light on the importance of lighting. The Sabre Roar class was visited by Rob Fisher, the owner and president of Electric Sun Corporation in Milwaukee. Electric Sun is a business that offers a broad range of lighting equipment, as well as experienced lighting crews for film projects. After working in the film industry for over 30 years, some of the top projects he's worked on includes the GoDaddy Super Bowl commercials as well as interviewing five of the living presidents for a PBS documentary. While he was here, Mr. Fisher showed students proper lighting in the video studio by using professional and DIY low-budget equipment. Whether it's a camera or our eyes, we do not see actors or sets or props. All we see is light. And therefore, the way you control light and manipulate it uh, it becomes one of the most important storytelling tools in the cinematographer's arsenal. Mr. Fisher holds a lighting seminar called Lighting is Everything to help keep his trade alive and to better educate people that lighting is a very important part of the film industry. Wow, I guess you could say that was an enlightening experience. Brad, this is why no one listens to you. Your comments aren't always that bright. The Sabre Roar class was also visited by cinematographer Tate Bunker, who taught us the intricacies and work that goes into filmmaking. Tate Bunker is a film professor at UWM and makes movies, commercials, and independent films. He has worked on three feature-length films, his most recent should be done in the summer. I specialize in high-end poetic imagery, so for me that's creating an image that is doing something that our normal eyes cannot do. And audiences like that. If I show something that looks just like what your eyes can do, it's boring because we see that every day. But if I can make it black and white, that's different. If I can slow down the movement, that's different. If I zoom into a close-up, that's different. All things that our eyes cannot do. He helps students learn how to operate DSLRs. So hit F-stop, and then you can scroll through it this way. As well as showing his own work with them. Check out his website to see previous work in upcoming films. Thanks again, Rob Fisher and Tate Bunker, for the lessons many never get in high school. Video production students have learned a lot about the art of filmmaking in class, but having a first-hand experience in the film industry is something no class can teach you. Students who went on the LA trip had all of their questions answered. Don't so it's 817. We're at the airport. We're here with our, with our We're girls. Here. We're here. 26 FHS students from Advanced Video Production and the Sabre Roar traveled to Los Angeles, California to see Hollywood and to experience what the film and TV industry are all about. Okay, so today we're next episode. <laughs> the first stop was in an exclusive tour of the new Nickelodeon studio in Burbank. Bria, how much do you love these couches? So much, I'd buy it. The students also toured the back lots of Warner Brothers Studios, Sony Pictures, and Universal Studios. One special moment was when the students attended a Q&A with professional actors, directors, and editors. I'm an assistant editor and editor in scripted TV, 
and uh, tonight we got to sit in with Mrs. DeClark and all of the students and talk to them about what we do in the industry and what they're interested in and it was really fun and great to hear what everyone wants to do. While on a bus and walking tour, students were able to visit some of the most unique places in Hollywood, such as the Egyptian Theater, Johnny's Coffee Shop Restaurant, and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Nearing the end of their stay, students were included in the audience of the live taping on the Late Late Show with James Corden. The trip granted students who are passionate about film access to an inside view of Hollywood. The LA trip was an experience that all the students will remember for a lifetime. FHS has had a video program here since the 1980s, started by Mr. Wilcom. The current studio is the third studio we've had in the last 40 years. It was created during the 2014 renovations. There are now four levels of classes you can take to prepare you for work in film, marketing, advertising, and communication. Uh, my name is Gail DeClark. I teach the video production classes here at Franklin High School for the last 16 years. Previous to working here as a teacher, I worked in television in Los Angeles. I did everything from start as a runner and work for free to senior recording producer of a network television show. The classes, you start with an intro to video production class, which you're going to learn the basics of how to use all the equipment and really learn the collaboration, um, communication, and video skills that you need. Those are our three standards. When you get to the advanced class, we build on those, so you really start to see your work improve and look much more like it should. Um, once you take the intro and the advanced, you can be considered to take the video production company class, which is the class that does the Sabre Roar. Uh, in this class, it's very personalized, project-based. Students decide what they want to work on, uh, whether it be news stories, short films, um, sometimes they work for outside clients, so it's really personalized and students continue to work and improve on what their part of the industry that they like. We learned more than just how to shoot and edit. My biggest lesson was time management. And but if you're interested in working in the film or television industries, our video production program gives you the skills needed to jumpstart your career. Some current Sabre Roar seniors and FHS alumni talk about working in the film and television industry and how it has impacted their lives. When I'm older, I really want to make films. Directing is basically my passion, and I love it so much, whether it's bossing people around. Yes, I love to boss people around. <laughs> or just having my vision on the screen. It's just such an amazing feeling. Hi, I'm Val, and when I'm older, I would like to get a job with writing and producing for television or film. And I've been making movies ever since I was in the fifth grade. It's just been like a pastime of mine and over the years I've really grown to kind of have a passion for it. We talked to previous FHS graduates to learn more about what they are doing now. 2014 FHS graduate Katie Thiel is studying production design at the University of Southern California. On set, she is responsible for the visual concept of a film or television production. She found her passion through Franklin's video production program. Teeny Tech in high school really, I think, impacted my decision to do this professionally, largely because of the opportunities to do things outside of class. When I was there, I did a program at MATC and got onto some professional sets locally, which really solidified that this was what I actually wanted to do. 2005 graduate Brad Gage currently works in L.A. as an actor and comedian. I have to wear a lot of hats to pay my very expensive L.A. rent. And also, it's important to hustle in every way possible in order to get where you want to be. You know, my main thing is acting and writing. One of my side jobs now is coordinator on America's Finest Home Videos. 2005 graduate Ashley Hempel works as a line producer on reality television. She manages the production budget and the day-to-day -day physical aspects of the film. TV Tech was extremely motivating to me. It taught me from a young age skills that I could bring into the TV industry. And it really helped my drive to make a career out of it. 2007 graduate Aaron Wolf works as an editor. I think that working in film and TV is a lot of work and dedication, but it's also so worth it and so much fun. And I really like waking up every day and going to do something that I really care about. So I would say if anyone is interested in that, then they should totally go for it. If you have any questions about the video production program or the film industry in general, stop by room B200 and ask Mrs. DeClark. We are all in the video production company class. That's the class that creates the Sabre Roar and more. The students are given the freedom to create original projects based on their interests. This is how the Goldblatt game started. Produced by Bryce Tome and CJ Robinson, they took this idea from concept to completion. 
In this episode, Mrs. OK's Gold Block faced off against Mr. Krolikowski. Here are the highlights. Thanks for tuning in to the Gold Block Games. In today's episode, we have Mrs. OK's class facing off against Mr. Krolikowski's. The winning Gold Block will receive this large basket of candy. Let's get started and see who wins. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> See, Mario's going. He was going so fast, I couldn't even see it. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Gold Block Games. Thanks to all the Gold Blocks who participated. Another show with the new games is being produced. If you want to join in on the fun, ask your Gold Block teacher to email Mrs. DeClerc. That's all we have for today, Sabres. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at the Saber Roar. Thanks for tuning in to the Saber Roar, shot at Franklin High School in Franklin, Wisconsin, also known as Saber Country. I'm Saber Drew. And I'm Saber Brad. We'll see you next week.